the reason for the nice little hockey theme this morning. We are really getting excited for the Women's World Hockey Championships, which are going to start the uh, very beginning of April, April 2nd. And it's really, it's quite fast approaching. Someone who has plenty of experience playing at the world level. Five World Championships? Yes. Four Olympic Games, three Olympic Golds. Yes. And, and how many world titles? Four? Uh, five world five titles. Five world titles. Yes. It's pretty impressive. Jennifer Botterill's on the show. Great to have you here. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Great to be here. It, there's a, quite the excitement around this event, and it's mm -hmm. building. And it's nice that athletes who are just recently retired can still kind of come back and, and help to promote the type of hockey we're going to be seeing. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm still in touch with a lot of the mm -hmm. girls, and I know it's a very exciting time for them. It's intense with the hockey season, uh, but any time the team gets to play in Canada, it's a special experience. Um, and we have some very good memories from Ottawa, too. We played here right before Vancouver. So I feel like it's just it's a nice time. It's a busy time of the hockey season, but I know the team, Hockey Canada, they're really looking forward to the Worlds here in April. I love that you said it was a great experience. I mean, you've got yes. the roots here in Ottawa. You've yes. branched out, but you've come back and done hockey camps and so forth. But for mm -hmm. you to play in front of around 16,500 fans prior to heading to Vancouver, mm -hmm. There's a great support here in this market for hockey. Oh, the, the environment was amazing in terms of the support that we had leading up to that game. And it was. It was a, a sort of final kickoff for us before we went to Vancouver, and it ended up going well for us. Yes. Um, but again, for, for athletes, when we get the chance to play in front of that many people with a positive environment, um, it gives you such energy, and it's a real support. Um, so I know the girls, it'll be a great week here, and the response has been really good initially. In mm -hmm. terms of the talent that we're going to see, there's other countries have really put the pressure on. So there mm -hmm. is some great hockey expected, not only when if Canada isn't on the ice for other people to see. Right, and there's a lot of great teams. And that's the thing, the quality of play in the women's game has, has grown tremendously over the course of the last 10 or 15 years. And that's what's great is that there's, you know, eight teams that are, are going to be competitive and, and playing here. So there's a lot of games that will be good and, and different initiatives and, and things that Hockey Canada is supporting. Even there's a Canada-Switzerland game um, in the middle of the week that there's they're supporting the, the Do It For Darren Foundation, so there's some great initiatives throughout the whole week of the event. Okay, and then I said, you know, are there up and coming athletes, you know, who yes. can we expect on the ice? And then you said, well, Haley's back. Haley Wickenheiser's still at it. Yes. I'm, amazing. It's, I'm flabbergasted. It's, it's, she's still going strong. Yes, it's amazing. I mean, she's uh, she, well, she's been on the team since she was 15 years old, and her, Jaina Hefford, is another veteran that's been um, both um, Haley and Jaina will be training for their fifth Olympics. Um, Carolyn Willette is another veteran. She's going for her for her fourth. So, but it's a good balance. There's there are also mm -hmm. some some great young players too. So it's a nice mix for the team. And you need that. I think it's mm -hmm. going to be exceptional to watch. Mm -hmm. Now you're also in town. Uh, it'll be kind of fun for people to be able to talk with you tonight and skate with you and just kind of do some laps. You're going to be at the yes. Rink of Dreams from seven to eight. I will be, which is great because again, it's another uh, I think a great community um, event that that Ottawa hosting so for me to get outside get skating um, meet some people and, and also just hopefully share a little information for the world and, and let people know that it's happening and hopefully they'll come out to support the teams do you like it when there's young girls that approach you or you know, right right around that that time yes. when you want them to stay within the sport and then mm -hmm. to be inspired by by players and it's it's fun to see because I was saying that the level of plays changed so much but it's also just the depth of the game in our country and you know 20 15 20 years ago that wasn't the case there was all these girls that were playing the game and you know, at the ages of six and seven years old, they now have a choice on where they want to play hockey. You know, and it's it's great to see, and choices later on for schools down the road. So it's uh, it's nice to reflect and to see how much it's changed. Well, mm -hmm. Congratulations on your success as Thank well. You. I probably should have even mentioned in there a Harvard graduate too. Oh. I think you've done incredibly Thank well. Thank uh, We've got the Rink of Dreams tonight. You'll be there from seven to eight. So mm -hmm. an opportunity to go and just skate with Jennifer will be really neat. And then you're going to be back on Monday, I believe. Mm -hmm. There's more announcements coming to us from the World Hockey Championships.